situation it's the kitchen at the farmhouse um we actually live here now so you might hear background noise uh, and kids and, and kids coming you know. in and out we told them to quietly go in and out the mud room so hopefully that happens we also have just recently our tile contractor came in i was like perfect timing because we're about to go live and he's finishing up some tile in the bathroom so side welcome. note this is the same shirt as yesterday but not same shirt i have two i've discovered and so i'm like hey back to back star wars day i bet you one was harrington and one was yours and that is exactly what happened we got them for two christmases ago for our pajama setup that you did and was it christmas or easter i don't know maybe uh, easter all the items we're going to show today you can pick up at jrvhome.com if you're watching the replay make sure to hit that live chat because mariah is here dropping links um, we also carry clothes, so she'll drop the links to my shirt, my sweater. I think we only have one of these sweaters left and my uh, earrings that we got going on here. But welcome, welcome. If you are new here, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It's so. the Spring Mercantile Show. Yes. You know, we've got lots of, uh, what is it called? Stuff? Uh, <laughs> no, not, uh, what, what are fabrics called? Uh, linen? Textiles. Oh, textiles. Textiles. That's what I was looking for, textiles. I was like, tea. That starts with a T. What is it? Ah, I couldn't get it. <laughs> and I know that a lot of you guys are not ready for spring, but I go, I don't know about you guys, but our shop goes straight from Christmas to spring. In fact, hopefully next week we'll do a shop tour because we have re we're starting to reset the shop, um, getting ready for spring and Valentine's Day, and we've pulled out all the Christmas, so we're super excited about Hi. that. And a cameo from Jack. Oh, Kelly's Haven't on Haven't had vacation. that for a while. <laughs> All right, they said hi, Jack. He's been playing in the dirt, but we're like, okay, we're live. You got to come inside. It's so, new dirt, so it's very exciting. So this has little tassels on the bottom. Says, love you more. It's the love you more towel. It's $7.95. And it's like a linen, but it not that embroidered, right? So it's got like a texture to it? Yes. Yes, it's all embroidered. Yep, this is embroidered here, not, I, not stamped. It's, it's a little extra, that particular towel. We have a lot of texture going on here. That's I'm going to show you more. Thing. This is Oh Sweet Everybody Spring. Says, this is like a patch on the towel. Does it have a ribbon across the bottom? It does have a ribbon across the bottom. We got a new... We, the we alarms... Have... We haven't figured out how to make the alarm system stop talking when the door opens, so you, know, you might hear that in the background, too. We got the farmhouse fortified yesterday. We got all kinds of cameras, sensors, and now whenever anybody opens the door, it says, side door open. <laughs> this is the... Uh, this is also embroidered with the little green tassels on the bottom. And it says, see the good. I love that. I feel like, especially with what's going on right now and the world all over, see the good is awesome because there is still so many good things to be going I on. I think these are all same price, same, same, $7.95. So Veronica says I look extra fancy today. Unwashed hair and a messy bun. But the trick is I have fancy, yet yeah, inexpensive diamond earrings and lipstick. That's my secret. So this one here is a print but it's got the bunny on it and it's um another linen towel like a flower sack type linen but it has a little texture so i would say more of a linen yeah and it's also um 7.95 and i love the rabbit on there hello Bunnies spring hello spring <laughs> check veronica says look at you with secret fancies i'm just sharing the tips if you want to be fancy it's lipstick earrings done <laughs> also it was lash day and it'd been like three weeks. You have to set the non-fancy precedent yeah. though. They've got to see you messy and Gross. hair falling out of the messy bun and sweating because you've been sanding floors or putting the floors in, you know, that sort of thing. And then when you're kind of clean, then they're like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> That's the trick there. You got to. Okay. So this is uh, from Waste Not Wednesday, uh, the junk organizer, $16.95. You can see how that ended up if you didn't see the post on Community from yesterday. And Jean cleaned out the inside of the bins. We've got it all waxed, super cute. And I think she just cleaned up the bottom so there's not like yep. weird paint situation it happening. It still has there. its little felts. Yep. So sometimes we paint the bottom and sometimes we clean it up. We just want to make sure there's no leftover paint. So there's that one. And then we'll, let's show them all while we've got them. So this them. is the herbs planter that Zeb did. It got all waxed up. The other one is already gone, right? The um, one yeah. you did with the little the love heart box? The, the love box? Yeah, there's just one link for both of the Waste Not Wednesday Yeah, projects. it'll have a drop down. These are with, if you haven't checked out Waste Not Wednesday from yesterday, these are made with the new IOD um, letter molds. So yep. those can be found at jamierayvintage.com. That's the, our DIY website. 
This is the Victoria mm -hmm. font, the capital one, and then the lowercase is the, is the Harper font. Yes, it is. Okay. All right, we've got a bunch of fun little signs, great for like small areas, nooks, bathrooms, or if you want to do like a whole scene on a wall. A vignette, a, a gallery wall. Well, gallery. This I think would be perfect for like a set of towels with a ribbon or a wreath because it's not super small, but not huge. Um, it's two ninety five. dollars It has a great quote on it. Grow through what you go through. I like that one because you're going to go through it. So you might as well get some growth from it. I feel like we grew from this house. And these are, these are priced to go. They're two ninety five. dollars Yeah. And it's made of, it's like a little bit of, it's like plywood or whatever. It's yeah. not made of MDF, a cute little wire hanger. Quarter inch there. plywood that it's been cut out of nice and sanded. Trisha, we are getting busier at the shop. It's kind of hit or miss, but people are starting to get the stimulus situation happening in their bank account. So we've been seeing people start to shop. So the balloon block signs come with hanging hardware and these are $5.95. We rise by lifting others and don't follow lead. Is that for a set or each? That, that's each. They're sold individually. Okay. So there's don't follow lead and uh, they have fancy rise. paper. It's like crinkly watercolor paper. Yeah, it's like watercolor oh, paper. You can't, Sorry, me... it's really bright in here. There but I you love go. these because I love what they say on them. If you need some, if you have somebody who just needs a little pick me up, they're perfect. Debbie's asking Carolyn if she saw the cute dish towels. <laughs> you have to watch replay if you didn't. Hey, Marlene, are we getting settled in? We just got rods in the closet. A few of them. So stuff's coming out. We haven't even been moving in boxes. We're just like put it in a trash bag and let's just haul it over because it's just. We've been moving in it's boxes. like seven. It's like a seven minute drive from here. So we're. Where we didn't, we got a trailer and the truck, and we're moving in the expedition. We're just throwing stuff in and moving over. We're high class. We did use garbage bags for our clothing, so we are pretty much high class movers. Let your dreams blossom mug. These are excellent. Nice big mugs. You could almost use these for a soup, and then it says, Let your dreams blossom on the inner lip. Yeah, these are nice and big, so you can fit a good amount of, and then when you get to the bottom, you see the word bloom. So if you love, if you like a big coffee or cocoa mug, or you want a soup mug, these are a good size. And I love the watercolor on You'll it. You'll notice a theme though. Lots of like spring colors, floral. Things that make you happy. Bunnies. Oh, I missed that it says bloom yeah, on the just, bottom. Did I you just, show them? I just told them that. Okay. So when you're done. So when I was a little kid, that's what, let me just give you like back it up a little bit. When I was a little kid, we had these bowls and in the bowls on the bottom, there was a nursery rhyme with a picture. And my mom would want me to finish my oatmeal. And she always used those bowls because I had to get to the bottom to see which nursery rhyme it was. So I'm always looking for bowls, mugs, anything that when you finish it, there's something in the bottom. So when I saw those, I was like, oh, that's so cute. It says bloom in the bottom. So. That, that's uh, what well, makes Well, it's fun it. that you have a fun little story about that, too. Well, I, I got a story for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy says, those are so cute. I'm a mug girl. I might need one. They're awesome. So, so these yeah. are just uh, just roses. No, these are peonies. These ones here. So these are peonies we've carried for a while, but it's spring, so we're reintroducing them. We have blush, pink, and white. Um, really cute and popular. Are they silk? Yeah, well, There's... I don't know. They're fake. What's that? Uh, they might be silk. They're I don't know. Not real. Um, but this is the blush one. But the thing about them that I like is the length is really good. I hate it when things are too long for like little vases. Yeah. And these are perfect for like a little milk glass vase or a little oil can. These fit in perfectly. So I love these peonies. And they're two ninety five a stem, so they're pretty good. And then a little green bud succulent pick. These are dollar sixty five a pick. Rashonda said, my mom always said, don't waste your money on moving boxes in a U-Haul truck. We have trash bags and a horse trailer. Your mom's Jinx, right. we both do the same time. <laughs> hey, we must hang out a lot. So a dollar, do you tell them a dollar 65 for the succulent pick? So yeah. if you don't grow real succulents or you don't want to, dollar 65 is going to last you a real long time. So this is a peach lotus pick. And this one is $7.95, comes with three blossoms and a little... A little uh, bud back it here. It says lotus, but I'm pretty sure those are peonies. I, uh, okay, look at this flower. Look at this flower. There's a peonies. Maybe. What is a lotus? I don't know. Oh, sorry. Little sorry, noise sorry. in the background. You've been forewarned. <laughs> pretty flowers. Yep. And then ferns. Yep. Oh, hold on. This fern is needs a little pick-me-up situation. 
sagging a little well a little pro tip if you ever get greenery right and it's a little bit bent where you don't want to just get your blow dryer out and heat it up a little bit and you can straighten it out 395 that's a really pick. good price for that pick and ferns if you have like a beachy theme bohemian theme ferns are all the rage so these are definitely awesome for greenery for that i actually even kind of like mixing mix and matching my foliage so this purple heather spray is 265 let me see if i can get it out of the plastic so you can see it good all these fancy words, pig spray. Oh, it was a piece of plastic. Look at that, look at that great detail. If Christy's watching, she'd be like, you ripped it. Blue delphinium, these are $5.95. This is a good size. And this has like soft leaves, which I love. Who's ready to put some of these in a skipping basket? Just saying. When do we get to see the house? Well, we're going to show you the living room. There's really not much to show you in the rest of the house, or not that I'm going to show you because we haven't moved in yet. Have Here's you guys have you ever moved into a house with eight people? <laughs> we, we're, we're barely not living out of bags as of this morning. So if nothing's kinda... set up, decor is not where it goes. Um, so we're waiting for the grand reveal and you'll have to wait too. But we'll show you a little <laughs> bit. How about that? So this is $14.95. This is a big, tall, long fox glove. These were great in like um, milk cans or whatever. If you need a big, long... <laughs> And the, the quality on that one is really good. Some of these that are less expensive aren't as like nice. Not as detailed. Not as detailed, but then when you get more expensive in your greenery, you get better detail. I like all kinds of greenery. All right, we got the gray bunny decor. This is like a felt bunny, $7.95. No. Go in your room. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed with that bunny. I love anything flocked. And I love bunnies. You're going to see them all around my house. It's got a fun spring. little tail. So, so cute. And then we also have this bunny here. It's $12.95 and it's got like an iridescent um, feature to it, which I think is really it cute. It looks like a carnival glass almost. Almost, yeah. It would definitely pair well if you have a carnival glass collection that you wanted to spring up because of the iridescence. So it's gray, but because of the glazing on there, it's really it's picking so shiny. up all the colors. <laughs> That is from Moana, in case anybody was wondering why I was throwing that out there. And then this is not... It's not new, but she threw it out because it's got flowers on it. Oh, this is the headband mask. The headband mask. Floral headband mask. If you need a headband situation and occasionally a gator, those are my favorite because they're cute and I can wear them as a headband and then pull them down over my mouth when I need to. So this, can I open this one? Yeah, you can open this that. one's this one, big. This one's not new, but it came out in the fall. So I thought I'd reintroduce it because we're now into that kind of season. Some flowers are always great. Tracy says she loves the velvet bunny look and Lisa says I'm ready for spring. Spring is new beginning. Okay, right? so we've got really nice bright sunflowers here. Then they come with these fun yellow towels. So how many are, it's a set of three for $13.95. So that's a really great deal. So you get three, two of the yellow towels and then one of the sunflower. Let's go over the top. Uh, Kamala, if the video is fuzzy, go to your settings and switch it to 720 because we film in high def. So you always have to adjust your settings if they're not in high def. Okay, we got a it's few. A you know what I really want to show them is <laughs> Amber this. says I think I get more excited to make spring and Easter than fall and Christmas. Me too, because they're my, it's my color scheme, like pastels and fun colors. That's my jam. I look better in jewel tones, but I decorate in spring tones. <laughs> All right, this banner is cool. Hello, Donna. Yes. I think it's way cute, and I actually got it because I know that one of my daughters is going to have to have it, probably Odelia. So it comes with a little twine on the top, and, and then it's, it's like canvas. a canvas type fabric. And it says be spirited, and I think it's $14.95. I don't see where a price is on it. Um, it's on the side, but yeah, it says be spirited, which I love. I like my girls to have lots of personality. So this one is really fun. I love oh, anything with butterflies here. on it. No, it's not. $14.95. Yeah, $14.95. But I love anything that has like the butterflies. This reminds me a lot of the IOD um, butterfly mudroom that way. Red, red. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Any, the IOD transfer with all the butterflies. So. Redrick was peeking through the, uh, the front door there. Dang it, Renee didn't get notification. You're just going to have to set your timer. Four o'clock on Thursdays. Although we might change it up here in a little bit. We're... 
We're coming up with a new 2021 schedule for filming, so we'll let you guys know. When yeah, we'll have to switch it a little bit because everybody's school is different and yep. things coming in and out. Fun little so plaque type picture hanger here. Good deal, $9.95. It's 12 inches across. It comes with this canvas hanger and the colors are really bright. It's got a nice jewel tone in the back. This but is also the lighter colors. This is big enough. It could almost work as a front door wreath oh, all yeah. by itself. Or if you had like a giant oversized wreath, it would look really good. Oh in the yeah, middle. right in the center. Just pop it in there. Again, more bunnies. You're gonna see lots of bunnies this spring. Surprise bunnies! Lisa says she can't find the glass bunny. Mariah, can you have? Were you able to find that? Let me see. Let's see. It's called bunny figurine. I bet you if you just search bunny, it'll come up. When are we going back to France? Ooh. When the situation allows the current COVID situation, then I will be back in somewhere in Europe. So soon. we're oh, showing she these. she can't find it, so maybe it might not, not be live. Let me make sure it's live. Do we still? How many of these do we still have? These are, and what's the scent on these? It's like a vanilla. I don't know. You got to open it up. I can't, uh, uh, no, I can't smell it. Through. So these are the heart dough bowls, and we've got them poured, and they've got three wicks, burn really nice and even. Uh, petite heart dough bowl candle, twenty nine ninety five. So it's the coconut beach scent. Coconut beach. There you go. And it's heart shaped. We also sell the dough bowls, just the dough bowls, small and large. So don't miss out on that. I'm gonna check check for the bunny. Let's see. With Valentine's Day coming, I know the heart shaped dough bowls are. So going is to be this popular. for like makeup? What is this? What what is this little bag? Is it for makeup? You have to you edge imitate makeup, me. paint brushes. Paint brushes. I like it better for paint brushes. Um, let me see. So it says you can do this. And it's got like a two tone on the front. It's active. And the back is this fun print. But I think that's actually it's stitched in. It's not just all right, I just not put just the link a print um, for the bunny in there. It says that it's active, so I don't know why it's not. Maybe it's not tagged. Oh, it's tagged. So. All right. All right, so we're back. We're back to the comments. <laughs> Renee says, I'm trying to be good. I spent money in the last few weeks. It's hard to be good, Renee. Was this thrifted or is this something we have? Because it has like a so it should, price. So, oh, is that like the suggested retail price yes. on there? Well, I got, so I went clearance shopping. It should be $39.95, but it is. It's $18.95, and this, this print's awesome. Check that out. Super detailed. So, and so then cute. it says. Uh, it's the black and white floral frame Cortical journal is what it says on the top. And then it's got some other writing and things back behind. It's super cute. If you like a more monochromatic spring situation, it's always good. It's all, we, we got you. We got you in the monochromatic. Okay, so we've got a bunch of little signs here. This one says, be happy. It's, it's, uh, it's got lavender on it's it. It's 3D art. You can see the flowers on there. They're fabric. And it comes with a, it's got like almost, almost a rustic looking frame and the be happy is metal and it's $14.95. And then why don't we show them the other box sign? Yep, this one here is be still. And I love the felted flowers. So it's $9.95 for this one and it has those felted flowers on it that are like super popular. And if you've ever made them, very time consuming. So for $9.95, do yourself a favor, <laughs> get it already made. <laughs> I used to make hair bows with these felted flowers. Mariah too, she can tell you you will burn your finger a thousand times. And it also it's got like that rustic barnwood style frame on the outside. And I actually even think these two together are a good combo. For or spring. if you even wanted to throw a third one, love is forever, L is for love. So these are our Valentines. I think they're really cute for a master bedroom. It and feels these... like a long way away, but we're like five weeks out from now Valentine's Day. you've got Day. to start with the Valentines now, $14.95. And then you can also get this one, I love, Better Together. I also think if you have any weddings coming up, these are great for decor, but also something that they could put in their master bedroom. Mm -hmm. So also $14.95. That would look good set. like with their wedding photo or whatever, yeah. or, you know, with the grandkids all Probably in moved a, in. Yeah, kind of moved in. There's dirty dishes in the sink. Yep. We got food in the fridge. Hey, more than just takeout. The plumbing is all done. I had a couple sinks that were just like placeholder sinks when we did the appraisal. Don't tell them, but they're all working now. 
<laughs> the dishwasher isn't draining properly, but that's the story for now. <sighs> we don't know if it's the dishwasher. It's our second dishwasher, and we don't know. All right, here's another Valentine's Day one, but I actually think this is, could be great. In, that's upside down. Upside down. In a master bedroom. If you guys remember the love and the Noel. Did we tell them how much this was, by the way? I got distracted. I don't remember if I told them or not. It's six ninety five, and it is a big one, and it's like all got a texture to it, and I love it. it says you can do this. So for six ninety five, this is a really great motivational bag. All right, we got the love wall banner. It's lined, and it's like a canvas, and it's just big love sign. It's got a couple little patches on here. Looks like some paint splatters. It's all on purpose and looks great. Yeah, it looks like a reclaimed like. Kent fabric almost mm -hmm. and it's the same fabric if you guys bought the Noel banners or the family something or other about Christmas banner um this is the same fabric so I love this I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day but also in the master bedroom would be amazing okay yes and then... Marlene we are glad that the winter has been mild because it would have been a pain in the derriere otherwise ironically I it was snowing it was snowing and raining when we were moving yeah, but not as bad as it was. It was mostly over, but the snow was on the ground. All right, we're going to show you. We have two new grain sack fabrics and they're $16.95 a yard. You guys were asking for different colors. I ordered six. Did you get the scissors? I you couldn't find them. So okay. here, I'll open it for you. I ordered six grain sacks. These are the only ones that came to wrap around backwards. So you'll have to get the crinkly sound. Sorry, guys. is a dark burlapy color fabric but it is the grain sack so it's not scratchy it has nine stripes total and it has the white stitching on it so a great neutral and then you guys have been asking for red grain sack and so we also have a nine stripe grain sack so oh the red one's cool yeah the red one is red a lighter and, color red um, and cream. Back. so i actually think these two pair nicely together the grain sack fabric is Super uh, popular. People love it for pillows, upholstery. Aprons. And yeah. For a normal, if you're doing like a normal seat, you can usually do three quarters of a yard per seat. We sell them at one yard at a time. So you'd have to order like a whole yard. But just to give you an idea. If the seat's small, sometimes you can get two seats with three quarters of a yard. Just depends on how wide your seat is. Because people always ask me like, how far does it go? So hopefully When she's talking see. about seat, I'll sh we'll go show you the chair in just a sec. Cause yeah. I think that's all that the stuff. That is all for the this, stuff for this. All the stuff that's come in for spring. I know that there's like more, more stuff coming. It's right? like, it's like a uh, never ending stuff, trickle of This is all mostly stuff. from one vendor that came in. So you can kind of see a theme. Yeah. So like all the cutesy, cutesy spring stuff. Okay, so we've got shoes on the front door, on the rug, and yeah, some we'll rugs in place. Let's sh let's show you around. We're gonna, we're gonna show you kind of how this room's looking. We've got more to layer in. Uh, the table might be moved over that way a little bit, but you know, for the most part, it's in place. We'll show you this area. We'll also show you the family room. Not much to see there. There's a giant couch and a clock, but you guys want to see it, so we'll show it to you. Bedrooms, no bueno. Bedrooms are like. Literally, the kids, we when we said we moved in bags, we weren't kidding. And the kids have been just ripping them open and throwing them everywhere because I haven't had a place for them to put them up. So we're working on it. We don't even have like hooks for towels. So there's like towels on the floor. Because we don't really do dressers. We hang all the stuff in closets. Yeah. All right. We're going $16.95 a yard, Dottie. We're going flying. All right. So maybe it won't come off. There we go. Okay, so you guys have seen the kitchen a lot. We've got bowls and plates and stuff over here. For the record, I did not put that stuff up there. This has still got to get leveled These out and trimmed. These are new security cameras for the shop. <laughs> These are the big corbels that used to be in our room that I made for Jamie for our anniversary a couple years back. I haven't killed the plant yet. The fiddle fig is real. This is a, a work in progress, but we've got our enamel plates in here. We've got some Moroccan glass. I actually got these. this plate set at Ikea. Um, so just some things that I'm working with in here. And then we made a cereal slash lunch station for the kids because it's easy in the morning. They just grab cereal and some lunch stuff, their vitamins. Hopefully they remember to take them <laughs> if they're right there. That's a better place because before they were way up high. Okay, we'll show them some real life. This oh, here's, the here's real life. This is what the pantry looks like. This is like half the food put away and half the food not put away in box still. So and we still have the Xbox in there, but pantry's yeah. getting there. It's a different kind of setup. My old house had a small pantry, which was cereal and snacks, and then a big pantry with just shelves. And that 
fit a ton of food. And because these are cabinets, I have to be cautious not to put too many canned goods, you know, for weight. So I'm just trying to put the things we use regular, reg, regularly in there so we have access to them. And then we'll have excess food storage in the basement. And then we also have the black hole. I haven't built the I haven't built the cupboards yet. Shame on me. Pots and pans and like 25 pound bags of flour, and the uh, instant pot that we have not unboxed yet. It's the instant pot slash air fryer. So my old instant pot broke, and my mom's like, I want an air fryer. So we, I decided to just get one machine that does both. And no, we haven't taken the plastic off of the uh, refrigerator. They're they're hanging out until I get them leveled and trimmed out. Um, this is our wrapping paper that they also use at the shop, but this is from Christmas, we haven't put that up. Buffet, I did do a little bit of staging on the buffet. These actually, you guys, I think we have two more on the website, um, and they're under, like, lavender pot, and they're actually originally from Ikea. They don't sell them anymore, but I'm redoing my decor, so if you want these, check them out on the website. They were on last week's Saturday Thrift Call. I had four and two sold, so... I'm, I'm going to be selling some of my decor as I move new stuff in, so you guys will see that. But kind of got that staged up for spring. Our dining room table made it. Yep, this is the one I built. Uh, cut the tree down, and my dad had his sawmill in town, so we made some planks and made a table. Yep, and this is the chair from Waste Not Wednesday. This is another grain sack. I don't know if we have this fabric anymore, but this is one that we've carried. My dad's been using this chair. I haven't done much with... That the pew, this is a different one. This is longer than the one we had yeah. that we just painted a little while ago. This is the one we've been using in our dining room table for probably about two years the or so. The distress on this one is real. Yeah. The distress is real and it's nice and long. We actually built this dining table to go with this pew. So it is the exact right length to fit the pew and it's tall enough um, to fit these, like the arms. The arms fit perfectly. Just. In case you were wondering, if you buy a church pew, it's better to build the table around the church pew than to try to find their church pew for the table. And then this is our piece. If you guys haven't seen it, we have this imported from Europe. It's original chippy paint. My amber glass collection. We actually sell this corbel. This is the general store corbel. I think it's like a hundred and something for one. We sell those on the website. We do not sell these anymore because they're discontinued. Sadly, because they're really awesome. I know. I'm sad about that. Um, this is a, we do carry this rug. It actually happens to be, it's like $40, I think, for this rug. It happens to be the exact width of the front door. Which and some shoes. Done. The shoes are supposed to go in the mudroom, but you know, they ended up here. Well, these are neighbor shoes. Oh, okay. Those are like, we have kids over shoes. And then these are my mom's shoes. We can't make her follow the rules. So. This is uh, also washable, which I love. And the couch looks like it fits a lot better now that all the construction stuff's out of here. Yeah, it, it fits in there. We've added the rug. We are actually going to be carrying these rugs. I had to order them first, check out the quality, but we will have this rug and then the one we're going to show you in the family. It won't room flatten website. out, though. I'm having trouble getting it to... It will. It, it just came out of the roll. Give it time, Kevin. I will. You got to put... This it's one's got a fun tassels rug. on it. I had to find something that would work well with the busy tile. Um, you guys might recognize this from our France haul. This is our 45 euro paint bucket. They saw, <laughs> you, gave us a hard they saw you coming. <laughs> I was like, I don't care. It's still one of my favorite things that I bought from France. And these uh, candlesticks we got from France. We actually sell these on the website. This is the uh, handmade baluster candlestick B. Do we have this any one? of those left? I didn't see those yeah, on the porch. $34.95. And, well, these are the these are priced differently, and then this is thirty two ninety five because they're actually finished. And then there was one on top of the um, on top of the fridge. And this these is we make, we paint. this is the green door that started the chippy paint loving oh affair. I've had this door for since Odelia was like a baby, so probably thirteen years. Yeah, I bought it up here in Utah, took it to Arizona, brought it to Utah, took it to Arizona. Now it's back in Utah, so it's made many of travels. It is missing two glass panels, but it always has been, so it survived. I love old doors and windows because they had a lot of texture. Um, this is a post box. I don't know if we have any more, but this one is $38.95, and we're going to paint it black. This is going on the front of the house, so it's just waiting to get added on there. And let's see what else we have in here. Oh, we sell, let's see, I'm like trying to think what we actually sell. So these are throw pillows. These are down. And they still have the tag on it. Yeah, that happens. 
3995. <laughs> this is the uh, denim blue. How do you know you own a store when you forget to take the prices off? This is denim gray. I love, love, love down pillows. Like, we can't have them on our bed because they're allergic, but I can have them on my couch. I'm not like violently allergic, but I will get congested for months on end and not know why if you have down pillows. Especially on the bed. And I will get this couch up on the website. It's a pre order, it's like $3,000 with shipping. Um, and it takes four to five months to deliver. And then this, I believe, is eighteen hundred with shipping, maybe two thousand for this chair and a half. So I still have my Christmas. And clothes. these are deconstructed, the chairs, so you yeah. can see what the back looks like here. So they're not up on the website, but I promise to get them soon. We haven't figured out how quite to get them up there because there's something that you order, but then you gotta wait for it to come in. Um, this is our medium laundry basket. <laughs> I don't think it has a tag on it, but Mariah can link it. Did you tell them about the what you're planning on doing so that they can easily see like what's in the house? Yeah, we're going to start doing Shop My House, and I'm going to have um, it's going to be, the collection is going to be called Shop My House. It'll have a main photo, and then I'll have all the links to every room, so you can can easily find each one. It's going to take me a little bit um, to get that all done. This is uh, <laughs> which pillow is this? Is the tag? Oh, I took the tag off. We sell this pillow too. I don't know what it's called because I took the tag off. I can't tell you. That's part of the reason all the tags are on things, so that way I can do that and remember what they're called. This is our marmalade pillow. Kind of obsessed with this one. Comes with a down insert, and this is one of our big chunky knit blankets. I think these are like ninety-nine-ish dollars. If you've ever bought this yarn, it's like cost you about seventy bucks to make it. So. All right, I think that's all the things we have in here. That we sell. Oh, we do sell. This is the petite flower mirror. I don't remember. I think it's like $120-ish for that one. And then we also sell these light fixtures. Um, and we painted ours, and we cut the bottom They off. come kind of a grayish color. Yeah, they come a cool color, but it didn't match my theme, so we whitewashed them, and then we cut the... There's like a little pokey thing, and it was too tall for our space, so we cut it off. Because we fit them in where there was already like lighting there who had to work with the space all right you guys get to see the family room oh this is uh i can't remember is this a charleston one does it still have a tag on it we sell this window too but i have zero a little boot. window maybe mariah will it's got construction dust on construction it. dust little time plant here some trim work still needs done so we're chasing we'll be chasing i feel like i'll be chasing trim for months um, so this is the big giant couch that was in our basement if you guys watched our basement makeover that's lights? the yeah we have lights there's lights. We're missing if you guys watched our basement makeover at the other house a few, I guess it'd probably be about a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this, this couch is, uh, it doesn't look like a lot, but I promise you this couch was not cheap. It's like half down. So it's kind of, it looks lumpy, but it's remnants of Jack yeah, from Jack watching good. TV this morning before he went to school. This is the <laughs> other new rug that we're going to carry. It's huge. It's like almost eight by 11 just smaller than that, which I think with rugs, they need to be big enough to fit underneath your furniture. Yeah. And this is not the TV that's staying here. This is the TV we had in the basement. That's the TV that came to us broken from Costco, but they were very good and they're replacing it and then the new one will be here soon. Yeah, the new one's coming, it fills the space. But better. I was like, maybe my power's wrong or something or it's not grounded right right here. So I plugged another TV in, turned right on. So I'm like, oh. So that TV will fit here, Zeb will frame it out. I actually have a buffet coming that hopefully will be something we can resell, but it's on back order till March. So even I have to wait for things. Um, parents room, we won't show you in there. This is my clock, do you guys remember the old the clock? The blue clock made it into the corner. It looks really good in here because it matches the blue that's on. But what I don't know is what I'm gonna put on either side. I might wind up moving this because I was thinking about putting a desk area down here. For Pretty great. Um, and we like they just wear really well and then we did our banisters are all painted with beadboard and white wax which I love that they get scuffed they're easy to fix this is the antique window mostly clean it still hey, needs Jack, a we're live. Shh. it still needs a little bit of love but mostly cleaned up and you can, we, we get a lot of questions about our stairs they're they're just weathered wood and white wax and then we buffed them really hard and we've drug stuff up there. I distressed them, and I think they're going to wear really nice. We'll do a DIY. That's the other pew at the top. But that's this is where the, the tour stops, because up there is, uh, you know, Very I mean, we still, we still have paper products here. There's, like, toilet paper and just tissue boxes. Just kick it out of the way. You can't see it. 
Well, I will hopefully do a tutorial on how I did these because we've got the basement steps. They're not made of wood, but I'm hoping I can get a similar effect. So they're like a chipboard, like chip but I think we can sand them down and they'll yeah. be just fine. They're the only steps I have to show you on it. Everybody keeps asking, so I thought I'd do the same. Uh, look, and Jesus made it. Look, so when we get our drink of water, I didn't want to know where to put them. So I was like, he can stare at the kids while they get a drink. All right. Okay, so that's the tour. So what you got, there's probably a few more things that we've gotten here that we sell on the website that I don't even know. But the, like the dough bowl, the, my lamb head. <laughs> Mostly I sell things that I love. So you'll see it on a video when we sell it. And then you'll see it when I decorate in the house. So let me grab comments. All right, little sneak peek of the house real quick. We will give a full tour and I'm gonna have some fun before and after. Uh, comparisons when we do that video I haven't even started working on it so give it a, probably a couple weeks and we'll have something like that out and then we're gonna show you we'll do we'll go back to regular videos um, here probably next week so we'll start having edited videos that come out Monday Tuesday ish and then another one on Friday and then for now, we're going to keep the Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday lives that we've always done. Yeah. And then we might switch up the Thursday live. We just haven't decided. Um, but I went, so they want to know, do you love your tub? I've taken one bath in it and it's, it's, it's good. It, it gets most of me in. Apparently I'm just bigger than they make tubs unless you just want to spend about five grand. It was the best tub I could find for about eight hundred dollars. It fits. I mean, it's bigger. It's longer than the last tub we had. You know what I'm most happy with? We got a tankless hot water heater that does eleven gallons a minute, and it doesn't quit. It just cranks out that hot water, and it filled that tub up super quick, like probably about five minutes, maybe less. Well, we also the spout that we have is made to put lots of water in very, very fast, and. We do have, Zeb has not tried out the kid's tub. It's a little bit longer, but not as wide and maybe even a little deeper. I'm not yeah. sure. Um, it's a European tub that we refinished. Odelia got in that Odelia took day. a bath in that and she's like, ooh, I need bath salts ASAP. Yeah, she said that it feels <laughs> like a vacation rental, but we actually live here. So I guess that's a compliment. I don't know, but. Well, she was saying it felt like a vacation rental because we didn't have like stuff on the walls and it was a little sparse on furniture still. Is yeah. what her, what she was I think. Well, I think she, she was, was also at. talking about like the fixtures and stuff. Oh are kind yeah. Of unique, so it's kind of fun. And that's I feel like that's kind of what's a little bit difficult is because this house is set up differently. Like we don't have a linen closet. Everything goes in the laundry room, but yeah. we don't have all the cabinets up in the laundry room to put away. And we don't have like traditional cabinetry in the kitchen. We have a pantry that has like a butler's pantry. So just like figuring out where to put things. Yeah, well, and and like, you know, when you live somewhere for nine years, you know that this is the cup cover and you don't even have to have the lights on in the middle of the night to find a cup. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, Christy was letting everybody know we're, we're getting a new sale ready, so don't look for the holiday sale, it's not quite out yet, so. Uh, Frida says my jetted tub would fit Zeb. You know what I had a problem with my jetted tub was keeping the jets clean. We didn't use it often enough. Yeah. So I think <laughs> we will probably um, get a larger tub later, like at a later date. But for now, the tub is like more than sufficient. It's got a sprayer. It's, head, it's nice. It, it fit me pretty well, way better than our other tub at our other house did, which has jets in it. Um, like, well, the other one of those garden tubs. Like I could get most of my knees down under the water and still be under the water. So yep. it was good. All right, guys, we love you. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and you can click that share link and it'd be super helpful for us because you can share it on Facebook, email, texting, however it works for you. Um, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And spring decor. Now it's time to put beds together. Yeah, well, we got wrestling. Oh, I gotta go to wrestling. The then beds right. together, and then we're making the cleans clean the old house basement. Yeah, it's gross. The situation. <laughs> See you guys. Bye, guys.